a great show today. Such a funny guy. Um, you know him, you love him. Everyone loves Raymond. Uh, Ray Romano is here. <laughs> Remember, don't go away. We got a great show. We'll be right back. Everyone loves him. Ray Romano. Okay. This is a fun little game where I do a dramatic reading of the lyrics of a song. You belt out the next line for a prize. So let's. Play rock and reading, play rock and reading. Won't you play rock and reading? John, come on! Pay attention! Here's how we play. I'm going to perform a dramatic reading of lyrics to a song you sing in the next line. Didn't we just say this? And then you win a jean jacket, but it's on the prompter, and basically, I'm a moron. If you don't know it, John's going to help you, and then if they say the next line on the piano, then you get the T-shirt. But if you want to win the jacket, it's just after the dramatic reading. Bachelorette number one, Teddy Black. Come on down! How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What do you do for a living, Ted? I'm a teacher. Yeah? I teach fourth grade. Say hello to your class right Hi, there. Hi, class. How are you? All right. Hello. Here is our dramatic reading of a song. No helping. She would merengue and do the cha-cha. And when she tried to be a star, Tony always tended bar across the crowded floor. They worked from eight to four. They were young and they had each other. Who could, could ask? ask for more at the Copa? Yeah! All right, that's the doctor. Sit down. Very good. All right, that's your. Good, and yesterday, it's been great. Yes, yes, the Happy Wednesday people. Very happy. Thank you! Very happy to be here. <laughs> so great. Can we get a shot of the woman with the binoculars? Look at that woman with the binoculars. You're like literally you're 60 feet from me, and you have binoculars. What's your name? Hi, Teddy. What are you looking at, my nostril? What are you looking at? Come down here, Teddy. Sit here. You can be close. Come on. Teddy, Hi, nice to meet you. you. How are okay. you? Have the mic. Okay. Just sit and relax. All right. Enjoy. Get an up close view. How are you, John? Very well. What'd very you do well. last night? Anything? So, you know, my, that great new show, Once and Again, which I love so much at 10 o'clock. You watched it, yeah. Love it. Love it. Did you watch that last night? No, I didn't. What'd you no. do last night? I had an open house. I'm a teacher. You had an open house? Yes. At yep. your school? Yep. Met every parent. No kidding. Yep. What grade do you teach? Fourth. Are they good at that grade? They're like 9, 10? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and um, it's the year of the big tests, and it's a lot of work. What kind of big tests? Uh, the New York State test in ELA, That's English Language Arts. A lot of stress. It's a lot of stress. When I was a kid, you know, they had those tests in fifth grade? Uh-huh. And you know how I know that? Because that's the year my mother died. Uh -huh. And they had the test right after my mother died. And I would, oh. well, wait a minute, wait, it's a good story in a way. Oh, okay. Well, it's not really good that she died, but right. when I went back to school, I had to take the test. And I think because it was such a sad thing that, you know, these five kids had no mom, they gave me like a hundred on those tests. They cheated for me. You're kidding. I'm not kidding you, Mr. Hargrave. Wow. Mr. Hargrave cheated. And then I saw him sort of going to the other teacher, you know, like poor kid, a mother died, you know, right. and then I caught on. Oh. So then the rest of the year, fifth grade, I totally didn't do any homework. Right. And whenever you say, where's your homework? I go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe I used it like that when I was 10 years old? That's uh, pretty manipulative. It is, yeah, yeah, I know. You know, my son's manipulative, too. Is he? Yeah, he's four years old. You know I have what a he... three-year-old. You do? Yes. What's, the, what's the name? Cameron. 
Girl or boy? Boy. Boy, yes. Boy. Now, is he manipulative? Oh, uh, not really, no. Not yet. He's pretty good. Wait till he gets to four. Okay. Okay. Want to hear what my kid did last night? Sure. He takes my stickies from my office. You know, I'm, I'm very sort of anal retentive. I have all <laughs> color-coded stickies. Right. So he t takes the stickers and he puts them all over the house. And I see them and I give him a timeout. And he's sitting there like timeouting. And I said, okay, are you ready to tell me what you did wrong? He goes, Mom, I know you're upset, but I just wanted to make our house beautiful. Oh, how sweet is that? It's manipulative. It's not sweet. Oh. Because then he knows I go, oh, oh. honey. <laughs> and then you see him like I'm behind my back to his sister. <laughs> she fell for it again. So you have one son? No, I have one son and one daughter. How old's your daughter? She's a year and a half. Oh, you She's see? She's adorable. Enjoyable, aren't yes. they? Yes. Oh. It, when she says, instead of saying thank you, she says cuckoo. Really? It's so cute. It's so adorable. Cuckoo? Cuckoo. Do yes. you have any idea why? Uh, I'm not really sure. What are you going to do when she asks for cocoa? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to know. Cuckoo or cocoa. Uh, right, I won't know. So did you watch any TV? You didn't get to see any TV last night. No, because I was at open house all night, and then we left at 4 in the morning to be able to come here. Where do you live? Binghamton, New York. No kidding. You drove yeah. all the way down. There's yes. a SUNY up there. SUNY right. Binghamton. Very good, I yeah. applied there. Did you? I did. Yeah, I got in. Good school. I didn't go there. You didn't? No. No. I went to Dickinson College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, uh -huh. and I had a 162 grade point average. Do oh. <laughs> you know what that is? Yeah. D minus. Yeah. Doggy dash. You know why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. This one. I went to environmental science. We had Mrs. Nelson, and I grew up in New York. And I didn't know anything about environmental science. I thought it would be easy. Right. And so we went on this farm, and we had to, like, go into the mud in the swamp and take, like, mud samples. And, and I didn't want to do it. We had to do that once. Scary oh, and gross, isn't shoe. it? You lost a shoe in the mud? Yes, in college? <laughs> no, no, right at school at Donnelly, where I teach. Um, we had to go out in the, we have uh, wetlands behind our school. Uh -huh. And they were teaching us about wildlife. Right. And I stepped in the mud and lost my shoe. <laughs> And, and I had to walk back with a sock on. It was raining and yucky. Are you kidding? No. The rest of the day? No. Yeah. Do the kids tease you about that? Uh, the ones that remember. I would have teased you about that. <laughs> you probably would have. I would have called you hop along for the next three years or something like that. Because I, once I threw up on my uh, science teacher, Mrs. Nelson. I did. We went to um, Great Adventure Amusement Park. And you threw up And on she was her? so nice because she went on the ride with me because nobody would go on the ride with me, probably because Lauren Williams was being mean to me for reasons I don't recall. But... <laughs> You know, Lauren and Jackie used to be mean to me sometimes. They, you know what they would do? They would call each other up and tell each other what color they were wearing. And because the, the three of us were friends, and then I'd go to school, and then I'd be wearing a different color. And then they'd say to me, you're the odd one out. Oh, no. Jackie yeah. Ellert, Lauren Williams. I can't Williams. believe that Jackie did that to you. You know my friend? I took her to the Grammy. Right. Yeah, I know. She's like my best yes. friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I watch her show every day. Do you know what else she did? Let me tell you this. You don't know this one. Once when I was about seven or, or eight, we were at Jackie's house, and it was a big snowstorm. Remember when it used to snow a lot when we yeah. were little? Yeah. So I had on my big sort of Michelin Man snowsuit like and we used to have. With your arms exactly. Down. Yeah. So Jackie lies underneath the bush, and she looks up at the sky, and some snow falls onto her face. And I see this, but she doesn't know that I see it. She right. wipes it off with a mitten. And I didn't say anything, being a good friend, not wanting to embarrass her. Right. So then Jackie says to me, hey, why don't you lay down here, Ro? You can see the sky really clearly. And I knew that she was trying to get the snow to fall on me like it had fallen on her when I looked the other way and pretended not to see it so she wouldn't be embarrassed. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What friend? What no, kind I of know. friend? She does a lot of things. And you, I, you heard about my sister with the soda, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I never forgot that either. I don't blame you. Tell everyone the story if you remember. Tell everyone. Well, I don't think I can tell as well as you. All right, thanks. In, um... <laughs> 1972, I believe it was. We never really had a lot of soda. My sister had some soda that was none left from the big RC Cola bottle we used to get for 99 cents at food tank. And um, she had that much soda, and I was having my tuna for sandwich. And I said, more, are you done with that? She was ready to throw it away. And she goes, oh, you want this? I go, yeah, there's no soda left. She went, oh, really? And poured it in the sink. I can't believe. I can't either. I can't. It's, frankly, it's frightening. It is. Yeah. Yep. Sisters and friends. I know. Can't live with them, can't live without them. It's a good thing that you and I met each other, because we're mm -hmm. pretty much perfect, and we could be friends. We could. Yeah. Absolutely, I agree. Exactly. Could I yeah, try your binoculars? Sure. Thanks. Let me just try <laughs> Look these. Look at the lady in the back the row right. right there with the red shirt on. Yeah, who's that? That's Karen Burns. Yeah, is she a teacher, too? Yep. And right next to her, Liz Coons. Hi, Liz and Karen. Can and I ask a question? Sure. Where's your students today? Don't you have class? Yes, I do. I have a personal day, and they're probably watching me right now. You have a personal day? 
personal yes, day? Yes, yep. We made a tape for you. You'll probably be able to see it later. A personal um, day is supposed to be for some sort of tragedy in your family. No, no. We're, we have those, too. Oh. Have, those are bereavement days. <laughs> those are bereavement days. Yes, yes. This is just feel like hanging out with Rosie Tough on you kids day. <laughs> well, Florida. that's exactly that. Oh, my goodness. Not How many exactly. kids in class? Um, I have 24. All right, I'll give you 24 Rosie O'Donnell t-shirts so you don't get in trouble when you go back. Oh, you are the greatest. All right, give me a hug. Thank you. Go back to your seat. I have to do a show. Okay. Give me the mic. Ladies and gentlemen, our teacher from Binghamton. Well, I had stuff to tell you about, but I can't tell you now. We'll have to wait. I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay. We, you know, hey. sometimes just things... Look at other people going, I have binoculars! Pick me! <laughs> right?